In this video, I'm gonna share with you what happened after years of supplementing Lance Main Mushroom. Let's begin. Hey, what's up? This is Greg, the founder of Your Inception. Welcome to my channel. If you wanna learn top secrets about nootropics and supplements, then subscribe below to start your journey. So Lance Main Mushroom, this is a very interesting compound. It is a dietary mushroom that is mainly used for improving cognition. And that was the exact reason why I decided to try this uh, supplement a couple of years ago. I think I first tested it out in 2016. It was part of a more complex nootropic supplement and I was supplementing it ever since. Now, the reason why I started trying and testing this supplement was the fact that I came across a study that was done on individuals who suffer from dementia and they were given three grams of lion's mane mushroom per day and what the study showed was that after a couple of weeks of taking this dietary mushroom, uh, the effects of dementia actually decreased. So people felt better and their memory was better. And that was kind of the reason why I said, I wanna try this supplement. And when I started researching it, I came across other benefits. Now, I don't wanna share all the benefits with you. If you wanna check them out, I created a different video in which I share all the benefits and side effects and so on of Lion's Mane Mushroom. So if you wanna check it out, click here. But I wanna just talk about one other benefit, which is neuroregeneration, um, because this is another reason why many people supplement Lion's Mane Mushroom on a daily basis. Actually, my professor, um, who is very experienced, in the tropics, who knows a lot about mushrooms and so on, he is actually taking a couple of grams every single day. So based on the studies, the recommended daily dosage is, well, it starts at about 500 milligrams per day, but it goes up to three to in five grams per day. Now, most companies start with uh, lower dosage or give lower dosage into their supplements. You can find Lion's Mane in many popular brain supplements and nootropic stacks on the market uh, because of the two mentioned benefits. But, and it's really hard to find supplement that contains a super high dosage. I think based on my experience, the reason is um, that um, once you take a too high dosage for a longer period, it kind of a, you know, it builds up in your system and it's kind of a question what's gonna happen after that. So that's why many companies and many experts recommend taking a lower dosage. Now my experience was with 500 milligrams per day up to one, two grams per day at maximum. Um, and I honestly didn't feel a big difference between 500 milligrams or two grams per day. Uh, but if you wanna take this mushroom in a longer period, then personally I would take a lower dosage, um, which would make it safer um, in longer term. Now you can find many different extracts on the market and different qualities. The best quality of lion's mane mushroom needs to contain 96% of this compound in the powder version, or you can find the same in, in uh, different capsules, or uh, quite often you can find an eight to one extract of this mushroom. Now, of course, you can also find lower quality lion's mane mushroom on the market, but I would try to avoid that because it's really hard to say if uh, lower quality will provide any kind of um, benefits whatsoever. By the way, guys, we have revealed seven secrets about nootropics that no one else will tell you about. To get them, download my free handbook below. So one of the questions I often get is, when should you take Lion's Mane Mushroom? In the morning, during the day, in the afternoon? Well, some experts recommend taking it two to three times per day. So you can start with like 250 milligrams, uh, you can take two to three times per day, or if you want to take a higher dosage, of course, you can then divide this into two to three parts, or you can take everything in the, in the morning uh, after you uh, eat some things after your meal and you are fine to go. Now, personally, I tried both options um, and I didn't notice any difference. So based on my experience, it doesn't really matter. And based on the scientific studies I came across, it also doesn't really matter. Well, it doesn't really matter because it has been established what's the optimal way, but yeah. Um, I think it's not a big deal if you take it one way or another. Now, when it comes to side effects, honestly, I didn't experience any issues with Lion's Mane whatsoever. Um, now, some people talk about issues with dreams. So some I found some comments that people had issues with, with nightmares and stuff. So uh, their dreams were very vivid, but really there's no scientific uh, support of that claim. And again, I had no experience. Now, that doesn't mean if I didn't have an experience that did, people didn't experience that, uh, but I think it's a very, very low chance that this is gonna happen. If it does happen, then of course, um, don't take the supplement or stop taking it immediately, but 
Otherwise, I think you shouldn't worry about it too much. Now, another side effect I came across or I heard about is that people feel super relaxed after taking it. So, uh, you know, if you take it in the morning uh, within your more like uh, focus oriented nootropic stack, then is like they're worried that you're gonna feel like unmotivated and stuff. Well, again, based on my experience, that's not gonna happen. And also the studies there uh, really don't show that. Um, yeah, there's been one study, only one study on women who were in menopause and, you know, they kind of uh, felt uh, more relaxed, but also more focused at the same time when they were given the supplement. So you shouldn't worry about it too much. Now, some people mix lansmane with, for example, rhodiola rosea, which is a completely different compound and rhodiola can make you more relaxed, of course. By the way, if you want to learn more about rhodiola and if you want to feel more relaxed, then check this video up here. But if you want to take just lion's mane mushroom, then I don't think there's anything to worry about. Of course, you can take lion's mane mushroom with other compounds for better effects. For example, you can take it with caffeine, you can take it with L-theanine, uh, you can take it with, uh, yeah, we mentioned before with rhodiola rosea. I often took it with bacopa muniari as well and some other um, potent nootropics, mainly natural compounds. And if you take Lion's Mane with those compounds, what's gonna happen is you will probably feel more focused, you'll feel more alert, you'll have more brain power, more energy, um, and you will simply feel really, really good. Now, if you wanna learn more about other nootropics, check this amazing nootropics list that we prepared here. You can check it out just by clicking here. Um, but if you know you wanna learn more about stacking Lion's Mane, feel free to contact me and I'll I share with you some great recommendations. Also in the description below, you'll find a link to my favorite nootropic stacks on the market. And that's where you can find some of the best top rated supplements uh, that also contain lion's mane mushroom. Now, some people take this uh, mushroom because of the short term effects, but really based on the studies, it's hard to kind of uh, see and notice any kind of short term effects. Why you should really consider taking this supplement is because of its long term potential effects. Um, it works as an antioxidant, um, it helps with neuroregeneration and it probably helps with uh, improving your cognitive performance or saying it differently, it helps with slowing down your cognitive decline and I think that's the real power of Lion's Mint Mushroom. So guys, that's it for this video, thank you for watching. If you wanna see more videos like this, let me know. Don't forget to press the like button below and subscribe to this channel and I hope to see you soon again. Take care.